Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on earth. Skijoring something I've wanted to do ever since I heard about it. It just sounds so unique Albertan. and so weird. Yeah, so Albertan. It's uh, basically skiing behind a horse. So you grab onto a rope, there's a rider on the horse, and they, you know, as fast as you're comfortable with going, they, they take you on skis. And it just sounds so cool, but it's a pretty hard thing to find. So last summer when we were actually doing a video here at the Hartel Homestead near Turner Valley, I asked them if they ever do that, and he said, yeah, they organize it sometimes. So. Today's the day, we're going to be trying it out. And he just told me I'm actually the test dummy. <laughs> so they just built the track yesterday, I believe, because we didn't have snow up until now. And I get to try it out because in an hour from now, he has a bunch of people coming for a little friendly competition. So wish me luck. So well, now it's time to sign the waiver. Yeah, now's when you sign your life away. I wonder what happens if you get hurt and you're in the, in the, the doctor's office. I'm like, what were you doing? You're like, well, <laughs> I was uh, skiing with horses. <laughs> well, I'm going to sign a waiver to just in case I want to try it. First, I'm going to see how easy it looks with Matthew and if I feel confident to do it. Probably I'm going to try it, but I, I'm still not sure. <laughs> I always thought the skijoring was a Alberta thing, but it turns out it's actually a Norwegian word that basically means ski driving. That's kind of what it loosely translates to. And it turns out hundreds of years ago, they used skis and horses for actual transportation. Honestly, if you asked me a couple of years ago, I never thought I'd be strapping on ski boots at a farm, uh, but hey, when you live in cowboy country, this is what you get to do. My life's in his hands, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so how do Th I... This is the bonus of this way of doing it. A lot, some people tie, tie on. Yeah. I just dally on so that I can hold on to this. And if you get in trouble, I can snap it or you can just let go of the rope. Right, okay. um, so if you have any issues whatsoever, you can let go of that rope at any time. How you're gonna hold it is kind of the same as what I'm doing here. You're gonna have one hand kind of back, one hand forward, or you can just hold on with one hand if you feel like you're strong enough. Um, we'll play it by kind of year here. Okay. So. Just wanna go slow? Yeah, like, we'll just take it at a... Just to do a test run for. Yeah, we'll take it at a slow pace so you know what you're getting yourself into. Okay. And then we'll hit it hard the second time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, take the jump? <laughs> no! Oh, shit. <laughs> looks so scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's more just the initial because you like of course the camera's doing this. I think I'm gonna do good, baby. I think I'm gonna It'll be fine and I have a slow horse. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of fun. Actually, not as hard as I thought, other than trying to grip onto that rope the first time, and especially trying to keep the GoPro straight, which I don't think worked out anyways, but it's a lot of fun. And now I'm actually more excited for Carla's turn. <laughs> I'm actually very nervous, so yeah. But I, I'm gonna try. 
I always said I always try things at least once and then I know if I like it or not. <laughs> but I'm actually pretty nervous. <laughs> I am so nervous. Oh, okay. I'm gonna scream just to let you know. I scream a lot usually. Oh, oh yes, I think so. Okay. That was a lot of fun, I must say. It looks scary and I, those jumps are huge, but I, held, I handled them well, actually. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. Now I'm a real Albertan cowgirl. I actually ski and was pulled by a horse in the winter. Well, a bunch of other people are showing up now, and according to Nick, even though I found that horse pretty fast, it's slow compared to these other horses that are here. So they're gonna actually take me out into the field where it's a little more open and see how fast we can get going. This I'm actually kind of nervous about. <laughs> I'm even gonna put on my helmet. Yeah, I'm also nervous, but I guess the danger is because there's a lot of poop <laughs> and she may, he may get a snow on his face from the horse. Who would have thought my risk skiing so would be poop? <laughs> Well, that was different. I kind of love that because I'm a big fan of speed, so that was a whole lot of fun. Probably the biggest challenge there was literally trying to dodge the little pieces of snowballs coming at my face because of the, the horse's foot in the back running, but, uh, but it wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be. Just, just a lot of fun. Definitely if I had a ranch, I'd be a skijoring professional. <laughs> start slowly and then she went faster and I say fast is faster I didn't go as fast but still you get the, the feeling of fast and furious <laughs> and yeah I'm glad I tried it well did you have fun I did oh my god it was awesome thank you so much baby for coming up with this I know it was kind of cool it's not too often you get invited to go skijoring yeah so uh, we definitely wanted to make a video about it as well so we hope you guys enjoyed it and of course as always if you like this video Give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment, and for more information on Canada, visit our website at mustdocanada.com. Well, that was a whole lot of fun, but another bonus about doing it here at the Hartel Homestead is they actually have a store on site where you can pick up a whole bunch of different kinds of groceries, all locally produced here in Alberta, everything from jams to meat to honey and all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna go in and grab some food.